Hey guys, how are you doing? It is Monday, the 18th of January. This month is flying by. And I'm here for a quick update because I've been, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, then you know I've been doing a lot of crocheting and knitting the last couple of days. Um, two of the items I don't have, I already gave them to um, the father that ordered them for his daughters. But if you go to my Instagram account, which is She Spins, you will see them. There are these headbands with that are the colorway was called Smarties, and there was only a little bit of it left, and it's way over there. So I'm not gonna reach over there looking for it. But the colorway is called Smarties. And the one that's on autofocus. I'm like, why is this thing doing it? All right, so and it is uh. It was a red heart yarn, and it's the color of the candy Smarties, old school candy. So, you can look it up on the web to see the different colors involved, so you get an idea. And I did a red, I used this yarn from Burnett, Burnett, excuse me, Burnett Satin. And the colorway is crimson. And you've seen this color before, because I used it to make those size seven um, little house footies with the red flowers so i used this for the flowers and i used some buttons for the center of the flowers um but yeah he was really excited so tomorrow i'll find out how his daughters liked it so yes yeah, so those are already been given to their person now these are the other things that i worked on and completed over the weekend um a pair of fingerless gloves uh, this person this is their school colors and they are also Laker fans so the yarn that I used is red heart yarn and it's uh, and it's gold and purple I know the color isn't coming up as bright as it is but it's gold and purple and it's, it's nighttime outside now <clears throat> and I did white thumbs because he wanted white on the other thing I did was a baby sack okay and Margaret if you're watching this video you can see I used the camel stitch I did double crochets a set up row of half double crochets and then I did the camel stitch I did the this yarn this is a um I love this yarn I don't know what the colorway was then I did two more rows of camel stitch then I did half double crochet two rows of half double crochet and then I started doing the um, bush stitch for the rest of the blanket and so I did that and so you'll see where the color wave the I love this yarn comes in because I also did this flower using that color way to match the um, sleep sack and I also once again used the camel stitch to do the brim of this hat this hat for the baby um this is a from someone at work or order I received and those little cute booties that I posted on Instagram here they are now the first ones I made using the pattern as it was explained to me on Facebook now y'all know me y'all know I hate to sew so this thing was done in two separate pieces which means you have to do four pieces because it's for two booties which means you gotta sew all that crap together and when I looked at it I was like it's a T it's almost like Bebs Country Cottage easy crochet booties just knit in two pieces when it could be just one piece so this was the video I watched on YouTube version and as you can look inside you can see what I'm talking about where you, you attach it way up there waste of time waste of time uh, as far as you know it could have been done way simpler than this which is what I did the second time I did it Second time I did it, 
I use the Bev Country Cottage technique, just knit version, um, and using the stitch count that they recommend to use for this. Do two pieces, sew it together again, fold it over, and sew it together some more. Instead, I just made one T shaped piece and folded it over and seamed it. And this, the person who designed, who said that this one, had you cutting your, leaving your ends off after you finish each piece. Why? You need the ends to sew the edges together. Why attach another yarn to sew the edges together when you can leave a long tail and then easily just sew that tail in, sew the edges together, cut your threads one time and you're done. So this is the Juanita version. <laughs> the Juanita version. Aren't they so cute? And they're very stretchy. Look at that. Very stretchy. Very stretchy. So this is the Juanita version, which is easy. Fast, simple, so one time. And this is the YouTube video version, which was a pain in the ass. Sew this together, sew that together, sew this together, weave the ends, weave the ends, weave the ends, weave the ends, weave the ends. No. Alright. So, yeah, so here are the little cute booties, and I have been tasked now with making some for little Raven Starfire. Her mother saw these and deemed that Raven must have some. So, all right. Okay, there we go. And here's the other one. So these are for, like, the newborn. And these will stretch with her for a little while longer. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so this these are just garter stitch. It's just garter stitch. So it's very, very easy to do. It's, this is a, a new knitter pattern I'm telling you it's a new knitter pattern and I'm going to do a crochet version of this too because it's just a T that you fold over um, so I'm going to see if I can do a crochet version as well and if the crochet version works out then good for me because y'all know how fast I crochet it took me for the first pair because it was the first time doing it the first pair took me about uh, an hour 15 minutes to do the second pair took me about 40 minutes to do and that's because I was watching videos and stopping and watching YouTube videos and stuff and getting interrupted um, a crochet pair I figure would take me probably 20 25 minutes if that if I pay attention if I'm not like just you know watching something and stopping and going stopping and going crochet yeah okay so yeah that's one two three four All right but this hat is this hat not the cutest is it not the cutest this one, because it's going to be a baby's, I did not put a button in the center because I don't want anything that could be choke casual. Okay. So, yeah. So, take that into consideration when you're making stuff for infants and toddlers, choke hazards. You don't want them to have anything they can pull off, chew off, because when them gums are itching, everything goes in their mouth. Okay, so you guys got to see both the, all the finished items. I have as my co-host today, Miss Cake. I'll see if she'll let me pick her up so you guys can see her. Hey, Cake. Come on. This is my daughter's puppy. Say hey to people, Cake. This is Cake. Say hey. And the reason they call her Cake is because she looks like one of those ripple, what do they call it? Um, Those cakes where you got the swirl. You know, you take, it's like a vanilla cake, but you take the chocolate and you squirt it in and then you swirl it around. A squirrel cake. I don't know what they call them. But that's what she looks like. She's a mutt. As soon, as soon as we want things the next. And she's spoiled. And I should want to get off my shoulder. Okay, come on. Go back into your bed. And chew on stuff. Good girl. So that's cake. Um, That's my daughter's puppy. As you guys know, a couple weeks ago on the 2nd. Don't start whining. You ain't no little baby. Play with your stuff. Um, I had to put my dog to sleep, old age, cancer, um, suffering, and it's getting better every day. Having this little one here, it kind of helps, but it's not my little one, so I, just like a child, I can say, tell him mom and daddy, come get him. <laughs> Take your baby, I'm done. So yeah, what am I working on? Okay, 
I'm still working on my nebulous nebula shawl. So right now, because using the two strands, I didn't take into account that it was bulkier. So my cow neck is too big. So right now I'm decreasing the cow neck. Okay. Once I finish decreasing, because I wanted to make sure that I had enough yarn to do that, because I only got one skein left of the Red Heart um, Black Sparkle. It's me. So I only got one skein of this left. And Hobby Lobby is in Virginia Beach. I'm in Norfolk, and we're not driving over there right now to get some more. This should be enough for me to finish my shawls. I just won't have enough to do tassels um, from this with this in it. So what I'm going to do is probably finish the shawl, and then this weekend, if people pay for their stuff, go over to Hobby Lobby and get one more stain so I can do my tassels. So this is how it is so far. Hopefully you guys can see all the colors. But yeah, I call it my nebula shawl because it's what makes me think of like a star field. And you have all those, like if you've got the pictures from the Hubble telescope, of the star nurseries and the nebulas and stuff and you got all these cool colors in here like you know there's those those reds and those yellows the oranges there's some blues some greens in there and that's why I call it my, neb my nebula shawl because that's what it makes me think of all these different celestial nebulas and gas clouds and things and I love it something for me can y'all believe that I am making something for me that I actually will use and not give away to someone because this is this is mine. No, no one can get this. The only way to get it is over my cold dead body. Don't murder me now. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, I'm real excited about this that I'm actually making something that I want that I will wear. And I wish, uh, I'm not got my DPS. And I wish I could show you guys how vibrant this red is. Let's see. It's coming off as an orange. There we go. There's the red. But it's not as bright as it is. It's like a fiery red. And it's not showing up the right color. Hmm. But if I can get some good pictures when I finish a day when it's sunny and nice and sunny and warm. Because I don't know. I hate the cold just as much as I hate soda. So give me 100 degree temperatures. I can deal with it. Hey, it is what it is. I hate the cold. I'd rather have sun. Why we move back to the East Coast, I don't know. But it is what it is. So yeah. So that's what I'm working on today. Now. I'm waiting on some. Joann's was having a sale. And. I used the online. Store and the coupon that they had in there. For the discount and whatnot. So I'm waiting for some blue. Some blue and gray yarn to arrive. And some more of this black multi. I ordered two more balls of this black multi. Because that's how many balls you need to do one of these shawls. You need two of these. You need two of these. And you need six to eight skeins of the black sparkle from um, Hobby Lobby. Now, if you have... My nose is itching. If you have a different sparkly yarn you want to use, feel free. It, just make sure it's... A sparkling yarn because the sparkles is your star field, you know. But you just hold one strand of this and one strand of the black multi, and you just crochet it, or you can knit it however you want to make your poncho. And I think I called it a shawl earlier, but it's a poncho, so yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing my decreases, making the, the top cow portion, I'm decreasing it some so then this part here that's here now will follow my shoulders as it does anyway and then I'll have the actual sweater neck cow neck up here so yeah now I cast on Jen look what I'm using finally I'm using some of the Brett James C. Brett Marble Chunky that Jan Carruthers sent me over a year ago. I'm finally starting to use the yarn. And what I'm, the pattern that I'm using is, oh yeah, and for those who want to know, the pattern for the poncho is based off of 
everything except for the cow neck is based off of the cow neck poncho that is a simply crochet pattern so it's a pay for pattern except for the neck my neck version is just front post double crochet but this is the pattern mine's gonna be longer than that cuz I'm short and I'm a receptionist at the office I'm at so the door is always open and closing open and closing open and closing and so we can't wear our outside jackets inside regardless of how cold it may be so my poncho hey will help me get around that I'll have a long one it'll cover my legs while I'm sitting down and hopefully help keep me warm I hate being cold okay so yeah so what am I making with my James C. Brick this is a one row pattern by Stephanie Pearl McPhee the yarn heart um, you can find this pattern on Ravelry uh, on her, actually it's on her website the link takes you to her website and it is called the one row hand spun scarf this pattern was designed to showcase hand spun yarn I'm using it for my Jane C. Brett because I wanted something that was mindless knitting. Okay? Mindless knitting. So that's what I'm using for this. Alright? Uh, I have two orders still outstanding. One is for a pink and gray scarf. And I'm going to start it tonight. The other is for a blue and gray Dallas Cowboy theme scarf. And that's the part of the order that I'm waiting for from Joanne's. So yeah. So once I do those two, um probably that's probably it for me for orders until October of next year when people start putting in their orders for Christmas again. However, if you would like to order something for me, feel free to contact me on Etsy or Facebook or Instagram just send me a message and say hey can you do this for me I also spin yarn you guys know that I spin yarn even though you haven't seen any spinning lately actually I do have some spinning to show you I didn't I didn't spin the original yarn but I plied it on my spinning wheel so that I can make those booties because the single was just too far so I this was the Viking where is my label here it goes. Let me find the camera again because I went to the website to tell y'all about that. Okay. So this is the Viking of Norway Norley Superwash Yarn. Now mind you, this was a single and a Navajo plied it. So now it's a three ply. And I have enough to make another pair of booties. I'm going to make a pair of booties for Raven. And if there's enough to do like the brim for a hat, then I'm going to take and um, do the brim of a hat for her to match her booties. I'm gonna do the brim. Oh, I didn't see that pattern on this impeccable. Ha ha. Hey, look. New cable pattern for me for a hat. Focus camera. Oh, this right. It's off auto focus. Hold up, guys. There you go. Look at that cable on that hat. You see it? nice all right so i'm gonna do it with these to make miss raven some booties and um a hat so yeah yeah so that's the plans finish my poncho and start uh this pink and gray uh, scarf and then work on Miss Raven's stuff while I wait for the yarn to come for my last order. Okay, people who participated in the Pay It For it this year just waiting to get paid again so I can do postage. Okay, um, I got everything the two people that I have to mail stuff out to, your, your the stuff is done. They've seen pictures of it on Facebook. Except for one that's getting a yard. That's a surprise. So. But the other, you've seen your hat on Facebook completed. I'm just waiting to get paid again to have the money for the postage. Because 
Um, I work full time. Have a mortgage. You, you understand? House insurance to pay, car insurance to pay, yada 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 yada. Bills, bills. Feed people. Feed family. Uh, all that good stuff. All the things that go uh, on with being an adult. So yeah, we ain't rich, and YouTube doesn't pay enough but if you rate comment and subscribe to my videos and let other people know about me like yeah this lady she's pretty down to earth her name is Juanita she goes where she spins and she tells it like it is she don't she's not gonna I don't have any fancy productions and stuff I'm just me being me on the video so rate comment and subscribe and we all know I don't edit <laughs> what you see is what you get. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys go because I gotta do my daily quest on World of Warcraft, and after that, I have to. Well, while I'm doing the daily quest, I'll be crocheting because <laughs> that's what I do. I'll probably be right on get my fishing skills up to. I have a couple of level 100s. I have some other characters that's, you know, from 97 down to level 40 something. Well, no, wait. She's 53 now. So I have a level 53 and a level 55. Those are my two lowest tunes. And everything else is, in, is high 70s, 80s on up. So my goal this year. Is to actually stop procrastinating and actually level those tunes, all those tunes, up to 100, 100 plus once they release the new expansion. I'm pretty sure we're going to probably have to go up to like 105 or 110, which I think is bull crap. To keep having to level up. Give us more quests, more dungeons. You know, why do we have to keep leveling, 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 leveling? So, yeah. Uh-huh. And to think, back in the day, getting to level to 60 took you forever. Now you have to go all the way up 40 more plus levels to max out your tune. So, yeah. Um, and yes, I still play World of Warcraft. You don't know why? Because it helps me depress. What's not the word depress? What's the word I'm looking for? Oh. Uh, I can't think of it. It helps me release tensions that may have built up talking to ignorant people on the phone all day at work and by ignorant people I mean people who don't know what they want to say don't know who they're calling to speak to don't know why they're calling or it's just plain nasty because they know why they're calling but they don't want to talk to anyone so because they want to they get their nastiness out before they go on the phone with the person they need to talk to so guess who they're nasty to me and I can't be nasty back so all that angst builds up during the day how smile in my voice <laughs> and try to be nice and try to help them be as helpful as possible one of the reasons why I probably haven't dyed my hair let, let that wisdom just show um, but it's getting too much and it's becoming more and more silvery I mean it's not a, it's not it's a nice gray. I should let it go all gray, right? People are actually bleaching their hair and dyeing their hair this color. I got it natural. been getting it like this since I was in high school when it went from being nice and reddish brown to having this serious light red streak and then that streak became gray. So yeah. Enough about my hair issues. So yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's what's going on with me. Okay? Oh. Oh, I showed it in the last video. The yarn I want. You want to see it again? The fiber I want. You want to see it again? Here. I'm going to show it to you. Again. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful BFL. Blue face light stuff. From England. Mm hmm Look at that. Yes, those colors are showing up good today. This is true to, true to color. And it is from Quillen Fiber Arts. Q U I L L I N fiber arts and they are out of New Mexico. I'm gonna show you the label. Okay, I can do this. Focus camera. Yay camera. So Quillen Fiber Arts. That is their address in their website. Go there 
and check out their products. Because I can tell you right now, this is going to be sock yarn. And my first, you know it's funny? My first pair of hand spun socks I want to make out of yarn I didn't dye. Is that, is that normal? Is that normal? Someone who spins answer me, is that normal to to spin someone else's fiber and you have your first pair of hand spun socks? Not be from a product you made, but from a product someone else made. Is that backwards? Should I be jealous? I got real nice yarn that I spun from yarn that I from fiber that I dyed. But I want to make my first pair of hand spun socks out of this. Isn't that is that weird to you? Hmm, somebody let me know. But yes, as soon as I finish these two scarves, what, yeah, these two scarves and Raven stuff, Raven stuff can take all of an hour to do. If I can, if I can figure out the crochet version of that, all of an hour. That's going to be my first spin once I get back on my wheel. The pine doesn't count, but uh, I was really happy with how this turned out. So. I'm looking through my stash bag that I have of this. Okay, this is my bag of pretties. And they're, most of them are acrylic, some of them are superwash. Um, all of them are singles. Okay, which I made a scarf using the Universal Yarn which is a single and I did it in the C stitch and so here's some more of the Nortons okay beautiful beautiful yarn and they're singles now I did a shawl for my daughter using this it was a uh, a knit, knit and crochet shawl and it, it holds up well it doesn't this yarn is it's kind of like felty feeling I don't know if it's coarse but I didn't see any thread on the interior so it's not coarse blend, but they kind of shock felt it so that the it's a sturdier uh, uh, um, yarn a sturdier single so it holds up well I want to do a um, virus shawl. That's one of the projects for me this year. I want to do a virus shawl using this. Okay? And I have three skeins of that. And so when Sue shop went out of business, well she closed her shop now because of family issues. So when her shop went out of business, she put her universal shawl, her shawl was on and I was like, ooh, I gotta get over there and get this some. So this has it's 197 yards of skein and it's normal price is seven dollars and eighty nine cent and I think I got it for like three or four dollars a bottle. So yeah, so yeah I get I got a couple of them. I have some blue. Some of them the labels came off. That's the only thing about this yarn I didn't like was the way that they labeled. Some of them were falling apart. Like this one, so we have some greens. This one had like, this is one I made my, is my scarf. Yeah, this is one I made my scarf out of, right here. This one. This one is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm gonna be doing a virus shawl. I hope I hope I got two of these. I know I'm gonna need two to do this. This is Norley's too, but it's a thicker um, yarn. It's not like the sock weight one, the finger one. But, um, yeah, this is, uh, that colorway is, oh, it's a number. It's not a number. It's like four zero, color number 889, lot number 4004. That purple and blue one. And there's, I have learned to not buy one skein to get two you have to have a friend 
Terry Tilson taught me that. <laughs> so Terry Tilson taught me that. It must have a friend when you bring it home. So I no longer buy one skein of a color. I have to get two. It has to have a playmate. From the same. It has to have a sibling. It has to have a sibling. Yeah. So, yeah. So, and then there was like this one. It's real pretty too. All these should be something cool to see those color changes, right? So, so that is my plans. This is my potential Virashaw bag of yarn. So, this is going to be my go to for Virashaws, okay? But this, I only got one of these. I could have sworn I had two of these. I know. But that's not it. This one got black in it. Those, these are two of those. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I use one of them for something for one of my kids. Who knows? I know one of these is, is going to be used to make a hat for my daughter. She wants a lace. She likes lacy hats that I knit. So I'm probably going to use this one, this thick one, for a lacy hat for her. And there's two of them. So I could probably do a hat and fingerless gloves for her. But yeah, so this is my colorful bag. This is the most colorful yarn that I own, uh, other than my sock yarn. Since this is like becoming the show your show your stash video, this is actually yarn that I bought. This is actually yarn that I purchased. Which, like I said, most of my yarn, other than the acrylics and the encore, most of my stash was given to me. Go figure. Alright, so. So that's it. Um, we'll do a flash or stash. I have to use the handheld camera and we'll, maybe I can get my husband to help. He can do like the camera, camera stuff. As long as he keeps it off my butt, I'll be alright. He's a perv. And so, Go get you some coffee from 7-Eleven. Help 7-Eleven. Go to the 7-Eleven. If you're in local, go to the 7-Eleven on Victory Boulevard and buy some coffee and a donut. Tell them, tell them when Nita sent you. It's the new one now. The one beside the Golden Skillet. Okay, across the street from the Royal Farms. The one beside the golden skillet, you have to go to that one. Tell them when Nita sent you. <laughs> Help get the store sales up so that my husband can get transferred back across to the Norfolk side. All you people in Norfolk who miss my husband in Norfolk and you, you miss seeing him every day, then you all need to make sure you tell all your friends that live in P Town to don't rob the store, just go to the store and buy something. <laughs> now, if you look on the news, for this area of Virginia, there's been somebody robbing stores, 7 Eleven, left and freaking right. Left and freaking right. I'm like, are you that screwed up in the head that you're going to risk going to prison for the rest of your life for five hours? Nothing. One of them didn't even get nothing. Two dollars, three dollars, ten dollars. You're going to go to prison for the rest of your life for ten dollars. So, okay, y'all, that's it. That was my little rant. Okay? Y'all take care. And, um, hopefully I'll have my shawl to show you guys this weekend. And hopefully I'll have a scarf to show you guys, a couple of scarves to show you guys. So, not shawl, my poncho, my poncho. And I want to finish the projects I have in my, um, craft bags where I put yarn, needles, and a pattern and a couple of my project bags. Uh, one of them is that cable hat. I need to finish that because it won't take that long. And uh, yeah. So I will see you guys soon. Really, I'm going now. <laughs>